Hey guys, so I'm going to be talking about the liver embolization I did. So the patient's labs were pretty good, um, platelet count was a little low, um, the bun was a little low, creatinine was a little low. They had unknown known allergies, they had a prior CT biopsy that helped us find. They had a history of liver cancer, hypertension, and the patient had, was hep C positive. There was no problems that I could see with the patient. Um, same as before, pre-procedural, meds were checked by the nurse a week prior, they were NPO after midnight, AMC in the morning, and consent was obtained by the doctor and the nurses. So for this patient, they weren't moving very well, so we did bring the bed over to the table and put a slider board under them, kind of rolled them up and helped them scoot over. We used the same pre uh, kind of radiation protection, the foot pedal, the collimation, the timer. Um, this patient was hep C positive, so we made sure we wore our gloves when we touched the patient and were washing our hands constantly. During the procedure, when we had the needles around, we made sure that the needles were always safe and not going to stab any of us. Um, always talking about where the needles were placed, always letting everybody know when I was turning with the needle. The doctor was telling me when she was handing me a needle, just so all of us were extra conscious and extra aware. Um, the crash cart was in the room with us again. Same sterile covers. We had our eye cover. We had the cover for the monitors and the table and the ultrasound probe. So we did use ultrasound. We used a 25 gauge to numb up the skin. We used a micropuncture needle, which was 21 gauge, a micro wire, a 5 French sheath, a Benson, um, a 5 French cath mic, or mic catheter, a uh, contrast Thule, uh, micro GT wire with a retrograde catheter with a tor uh, torque on it. So during this procedure, what we did was we accessed the right femoral artery. We went in and same as before, numbed up the skin, used ultrasound for the initial puncture with the micropuncture. After we found that, we used the micro wire, took the needle out, put the catheter sheet or put the dilator sheath on, took that out, put the Benson or put the Benson in, or took the needle out, put the took the wire out, put the Benson in. After getting the Benson wire in, we took our five front sheath and replaced that dilator sheath. We then took our MIC catheter and we ran kind of a series of different angios. We did a silic run, we did a right hepatic, um, and then we did our embolization. So we were just making sure we were kind of following the right direction. After we kind of got to the place where we could access the hepatic or the right hepatic artery, we used a the micro wire um, with the renegade to kind of get up into the right hepatic so we knew we were in the right spot. Um, after we knew we were in the right spot, we got the block beads, which we used the 300 and the three, the one to 300 and the 300 to 500. So the way we did that was the doctor was the one to inject those. We got the beads. She used straight contrast. We mixed the beads and the contrast together so we could see exactly where we were going and exactly what we were doing. We then took a three-way on the catheter and slowly injected the beads into the right hepatic of the liver. And after we were done with both sets, we pulled the catheter out, we just had the sheath in, and then we held pressure and we were done with the procedure. So we used the block, we used uh, 70 cc's of ICU, um, 90 minutes of conscious sedation, which the patient was hooked up to heart rate, pulse ox, and blood pressure. The patient was supine. Um, kind of talked about, we used a Mickelson catheter, uh, our fluorine, we did runoff studies. Um, right or celiac artery or yeah artery and right hepatic and then the ble bead blocks we used so this is kind of a good image of what we did a little bit you guys can see a little better I doubt it 
Um, so we were up into the area and then we would squirt the contrast. You would kind of just see a flur of it with the beads. And then we made sure we stayed in the right spot and it was going the right with the contrast that was mixed with the bead block. Um, after they were all injected, we could see it was a faint outline like it is over here of where the beads and contrast were. Um, the reason we did this was the patient had cancer, they had lesions, um, and they had had procedures in the past. So they had a Sears Fierce trial, which pretty much same process except of injecting the bead blocks. We inject a radioactive material, which then they go over to our nuclear medicine department for them to scan to see exactly where they are. Um, so same post-procedure for all the rest of our angiograms. They were up in AMC, Couldn't, they had to lay flat for six hours. We didn't want the site to open up. Um, we were making sure they were coming out of that conscious sedation okay. And our patients do stay the night just because we want to keep an eye on them, make sure their vitals are doing good. Um, and that they're stable after we did kind of such a harsh procedure. Pretty much what the bead blocks do is block off the blood flow to the right hepatic in the little vessels. Um, so pretty much we're taking all the blood supply from that portion of the liver. So it was a very interesting procedure and they are definitely a fun one to do just because of what you get to see with that contrast. Thanks guys.